Okay, this is about the movie that's coming out on uh, March 11, 2011. It's called Battle Los Angeles, and it's starring Aaron Eckhart. And before I even get started, let me tell you, in Kyrix, The Message of Pascal, my novel that I've written, and the link is below that you can click on and read this, I always imagined either Aaron Eckhart or Tom Cruise as Jack Crawford for my science fiction novel, which talks about an alien computer being discovered deep beneath the surface of our planet, which turns out to be 500 million years old. So, <clears throat> just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, now, Battle Los Angeles. This movie, and two other movies that came out last year, and two movies besides Battle Los Angeles are coming out in the next 12 months regarding aliens suddenly taking over our planet. Now, when you go see this movie, I want you to be watching this movie very carefully. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because this is a sign of something to come. And it very well could be 2012, December 21st, where a poten potential alien attack is kind of leaked through people like uh, David Icke and Jordan Maxwell, who talked about that governments can have... S Look, CIA and the government is 20 years ahead of us. So if they have spacecraft, okay, and most likely, I think Area 51, even though aliens are there and real, I think Area 51 is not an alien base. It's just they are experimenting with advanced spacecraft, which look like alien UFOs. But I think this 2012, December 21st, could be a time when the governments will take the full advantage of the state even though nothing naturally was going to happen and in my previous video I told you it already happened starting December 21st 2010 when our solar system actually entered the galactic plane during the eclipse and since then all these events are happening but going back to the subject they're gonna take full advantage of this and they're gonna tell people or show people that the alien race is attacking us we must come together as one as a one world government and they can do that. They're probably training their pilots right now. They're probably going to put these masks on them and uh, these costumes on them to fly these crafts. And this is, you remember, Hollywood always gives you clues. If you watch the this uh, series called 9-11 Clues uh, from Hollywood on YouTube, you'll see prior, six years prior to the 9-11 attack, Every single scene in the mo in certain movie, especially action and science fiction movies, they showed the time 9/11, 9/11. They showed the date September 11th. They showed the Twin Towers 9/11 sign, all there. And I'm not trying to go into this whole conspiracy theory. So as I was saying, um, in Zeitgeist, you know, they've already have uh, a billion fans watching that whole thing, and I do believe that. But I'm more interested in the outer space, in alien, in the our history of humans. Where did we come from? What is this place? What is universe? That's my mission. Okay, there's all there's other people out there who are doing the job of the political conspiracy. I want to stick with the natural conspiracy, which is conspiracy of us as humans. So they're coming out with all these movies of alien attacking us. So this is, I think. And this is according to Jordan Maxwell and David Icke and other people out there who gave lectures that they're going to try to give us a clue through Hollywood because Hollywood reaches masses. Okay, nobody's going to watch a government channel where they're going to give clues. They know that people are stupid. They want to see stupid Hollywood films. And most of them are, are but certain are not. Certain, um, certain movies are very intelligently made. And so you want to watch those movies. You want to um, look out for those movies. So when you start watching this movie, Battle Los Angeles, and a couple of other movies, and this, I think this last year's movie came out that with the aliens were attacking us. Watch for, don't watch the main thing. Try to concentrate on the time, on the calendar, on things behind the main actor to see if they're giving any clues. This is something you want to look out for. And this is, I think, is a sign of something big to come. And I, I feel it. I feel like this is something that they're getting us ready for. Um, so, you know, you heard it here first. And 
as far as Transformer 3 is concerned, the alien moon base, base that they show on the trailer, the teaser trailer. I was so disappointed because when I made a similar trailer regarding my novel Kyrox, The Message of Pascal, it wasn't as uh, uh, graphic savvy, you know, it was just like still pictures, but I was talking about how the government has told us that we need to search for alien life while it has all here been here all along, deep beneath the surface of our planet. And then also it goes into how there's things on the moon as well. So th there's a clue there too that this was a brilliant, brilliant teaser trailer you want to watch for Transformer 3 where Neil Armstrong goes and they once the signal lost they go to the real thing. They go to, to investigate the moon alien base which is considered top secret and this is something they've actually made documentaries on where when Apollo 11 landed they saw tetrahedron structures. Tetrahedron structures is a structure that like a pyramid shape so they saw these glassed, glass pyramids high taller than the Empire State Building. They saw these underground bunkers, military bunkers, ruined alien spaceships. So it's pretty much a ruined alien base. And they portrayed that very beautifully in the teaser trailer. I can't wait to, wait to watch that movie. And in my second part of Kyrox, The Hidden History, I talk about the alien moon base. What could be in there? You know, imagine what could be in a moon alien base. What kind of technology they have in there? And what is moon? That's another secret and conspiracy that you want to look at. What is moon actually? Is it a piece of rock that was created from a collision of a different, uh, uh, this planet called Piyama that collided with the Earth four billion years ago and the moon was formed? That's just a theory. It's not like that's what happened. All these science channels, they show you these theories. These are just educated theories from physicists. Even physicists are not God. Even more than half of Einstein theories are now being um, rechecked and reversed and changed and molded into something what it should be so nobody's out there being God right now and so these are just theories and I decided to add my theory to my novel but my theory is related to Kundalini meditation Kundalini meditation I am gonna make the video I'm hopefully gonna make this right after this so look out for it